17. Viva! Well, one area we've not looked at at all is the Galaxy Pavilion. Let's see if it's open and able to be peeked at. It appears, maybe. Wow. This reminds me of that thing we would take to get to the, the, the top lounge on that princess ship. Oh, yeah. With the walkway. Fun. Okay, we have Starline Surfer. We got a starship over there. Check in for the dark ride. There's some other kind of motion trucky looking thing. All kinds of fun stuff with VR and seats and things. Here on the other side, we've got The Descent, VR Infinite Battle, Beat Hero. Oh, I see it connects up. It was basically just a big horseshoe. <laughs> I cut through both sides of the lobby to get here. <laughs> I see there's an actual escape room entrance on this side too. And an exit. <laughs> well, good enough. I guess let's head to the observation lounge for some downtime. Back through the space hallway. Well, let's observe how full this lounge may be. It's been pretty quiet everywhere else on the ship inside. Oh, nice. I think everybody's outside right now. Oh, yeah, there's like 50 million seats in here. Oh, they're out of Jameson officially, but we've gotten two Irish coffees or just whiskey coffees. Now I'll enjoy some view. Well, it is time to run down and see if we can deposit these tickets for the chance to win a free cruise, finally. Now, the bingo is already in progress, so curious to see if we can still put our tickets in. I think the drawing's at the end. We are good. We're still allowed to enter. It's a good claim of bingo. There we go. Three, two, one. That's it. Ooh, the bin is now closed. First number? Six. Six. Oh. <laughs> you should all have that number, really. No. No? A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got a winner up top oh, in the balcony. We're going to go and see if he's got a rookie, if he's just joking with us. What's your name, Maureen? We have a winner. Darren it is not us, Miami. but that's all right. Darren from South Miami. <laughs> Well, next up, we have jumped out to do a little bit of shopping. We remembered that our onboard credit can't be used for gratuities or for the adult arcade, so we got some money to burn. So that was the Beauty by Design store. Nothing really struck us in there. I think we're mostly intrigued by the Logo Gear shop and maybe the tech area on deck eight. So let's climb. Well, we'll check seven first. That's watches, obviously. You've got purses and things like that down in the gateway. Oh, we forgot about this fun little staircase over here behind the Starbucks. Anyway, up to deck eight. So Lifestyles has the Pandora and logo gear type stuff. Lovely dry bags, hats, magnets, and things, of course. All sorts of shirts, presumably some inaugural season stuff. There's bears, ships, sundries, snacks. Look at all that. Little hoodies, bottle, ship models. Let's continue down the tech area hallway. They also had some $10 accessories out down here. No orange hats that I saw. Let me get you some shades. Heck yeah. I think, oh, they have shades over here too. Yeah, I think this is kind of like their $10 ish accessories. Nice. Oh, they have orange bag. That would go with orange hat. Hmm. <laughs> they have tiny Bluetooth speakers. These are actually uh, lamps, so uh, literal book lights. Oh, a shaver for your delegates. Okay, I like the uh, cleverly placed banner there covering up the delegates. <laughs> Neck pillows, more shavers, a daylight therapy lamp. Never seen some of this stuff on ships before, I don't think. Mm. A maz fit. <laughs> like smart watchy things. Mm. Electric toothbrush. Nice. Head massager. Nausea relief. I need all this stuff. Drawbot? What is this? A selfie light? <laughs> Pac-Man. Well, we found success by getting some wireless earbuds in the tech shop. Now Dia's back to look at scarves. Yeah, we need anything. <laughs> this is the funny thing. Well, no extra purchases for now. So we got some onboard credit to hold on to until this evening sometime. 
Well, they've just finished a diamond painting arts and crafts, getting ready to start a game of charades over in the atrium now. No one showed up for charades, so we had to cancel that activity. Everybody's just in relaxation mode here on day 11. Oh, thanks for lighting me up, camera. So, we're gonna continue the relaxation. That's all I know. Whoop. Well, let's keep it rolling right into dinner. It is Hudson's time. Looks like we're on the sunset side tonight. To the Viva Theater now for Sid Norman's presents Prom Turn Back Time. It's 80s prom night. So we think this is going to be sort of a stand and dance type event instead of a sit and watch, but let's find out. Oh, check this out. Okay, so definitely standing and dancing with a few benches around the way. Oh, they've got some classic prom photo backdrops. <laughs> like how the clock is set almost to 10.04, which is the Back to the Future time. There's a few little performance stages around the room. The main stage up there, obviously. Cute. Let's not forget the rules. There will be no spiking of the punch. The forms might get up close and personal with you, but don't get personal with them. Seriously, don't touch them.
enough party for us. Let's hit the road. And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay, Norwegian Viva Edition. I'm excited for this one. So from what I can tell, this is virtually identical to Prima. It's got a beautiful hinged door that doesn't really get in the way of the other door. <sighs> Such a nice design. We've got a meat drying rack down there so you can hang all your salamis, pastramis, capricholas, all that stuff. Two triangular snack shelves, double snacking, yes please. We've got the uh, conditioning shampoo and body wash there. A clothesline, of course. Now this is never going to be like a full-on rainfall shower head to me, but the pressure is pretty good. It's got the, let's see if I can show it, the four settings on the back where you can push these little buttons, change your jet type, stuff like that. Dripped on my hand. Fully adjustable, fully detachable. We do have the on-off switch on this side, which if you turn it all the way on, push that little button, it turns more on to give you more pressure. Hot cold on the other side, little grab bar up there. There's a lot to enjoy about this shower. So I think it's identical to Prima. It's probably going to get an identical score uh, to Prima. So even getting in here, it's got pretty good head space. I mean, there's a good three or four inches above my head and I am 6'5". Lots of room to dip, dive, dodge, whatever you need to do in the shower. Good times. So let's give it a rating. There it is. And now brown oh, they've got like it shirts. on the screens where you can All see what color tags they've called. Yourself. Well, nine o'clock has come. They have made the last call for guests to get off the vessel, and we were waiting till the bitter end because we don't have far to go, fortunately. But we're getting ready to continue this adventure. Say goodbye to the butterflies. Oh no, these poor things were sleeping. Oh, not now. <laughs> there we go. Well, we're winding through the Belvedere down here by the Commodore. All right, we are clear. And What's we're up, y'all? Now, we did not say hello or goodbye or much of anything in Sorry. this vlog. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. But welcome to the wrap-up officially for Norwegian Viva. We got a lot of stuff we got to talk about. Definitely. Let's wrap up our um, day that you just saw, first of all. The highlight for me of the whole day, I think, was going to the prom. Aww. Turn back time. I got to take D to the 80s prom. Fun fact, Jay never went to his prom. That's true. It's a sad fact. <laughs> so we got to go to a prom. Fun fact, it was not in the 80s either. <laughs> oh, no, it definitely was not. Um, no, that was really cool. And I think it is something that they do on most of the voyages. Oh, it's not just because we had a longer sailing, because um, they wouldn't have done all that work just for that. Surely not. This the, has got to be a, a, a show that they yeah. put together, because this was the Sid Norman's cast, you know, rocking yeah. it out. The props were amazing and props really the fit the theme, and the songs were so good. The costuming was excellent. Mm. It was just a really good time, and yeah. like everybody could get involved, and you could dance, just like prom. Yeah, obviously. I mean, they opened with "Power of Love" from Back <laughs> to the Future. The whole thing had a Back to the Future theme to it. It's like the Enchantment Under the Seas mm -hmm. dance or whatever. There. Yeah, it was really good. I love yeah. that. Yeah, because one of the things that was on our sailing, not this particular day, was the speakeasy, and uh, Mr. Fagan goes big. Now you're not going to find those on most of your sailings True. because he was just one of the uh, uh, crew members. What do you call him? Cast members on board. Beetlejuice. Yeah. And he got to put these shows together because we were on an extra long cruise. He's fantastic. Anyway, that's beside the point. So uh, we didn't dish on dinner. And at this point, we're that was a long time ago for us in real time. Where so did we eat? It was the dining room. It was wonderful. It was fantastic. <laughs> Everything about it. We actually had some interesting stuff in there because I think I had like the little um, ground meat thing. And... <laughs> Y'all, it's flown out of our brains. All for of now. the food on Norwegian, at least on Viva for us, was really good. Just know that um, yeah. I don't think I had anything I didn't like. So, I don't think and I if did I did, either. I probably already talked about it. All right, <laughs> let's get into. You're leading into our thoughts as a whole, which oh, is good. So let's just. Go. I haven't taken any notes, so we're just off the cuff, and I'm wearing short sleeves. This off is the how cuff. we do. Yeah. So let's just roll through some categories about our Norwegian Viva experience in general, starting with food. How about that? Now, <laughs> indulge. 
is excellent. Indulge makes the whole experience also for me. It just is fantastic. Yeah, Indulge is great and it's a great breakfast option as we showed. Mm. If you're looking for something that's not quite a buffet or a sit down meal but still sort of has both of those feels True. and is less busy, that is an excellent option. It's like a scavenger hunt. It is. You it's have little... to go to every little <laughs> station to find and you go around a corner and you're like, oh, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of fun. But it's not super busy, which is what I liked about it. Yeah, because people want to go to the buffet and stuff yeah. like that, I think. But I love Indulge. I I love indulge for every meal of the day. <laughs> I could literally true. eat indulge three meals a day and I'd be happy. He would, for sure. They have lots of cheese. They have those little blue cheese, the, the wrapped dates um, with the blue cheese on the side. Hopefully they'll have it on Aqua when the yeah. new ship comes out in 25. Yeah, so. and of course the specialty, Food Republic, that oh, is always so our sleeper. That If people say, what is your favorite specialty on Norwegian? Food Republic mm -hmm. is going to be up there if it's on any ship. The value that you get when using your dining plan. Yes. And it's very shareable. And we talked about that when we ate Food Republic in the video. And if you have a really good weight staff person, they'll yeah. tell you that. And ours did. He yeah. was so sweet. He was like, don't use your dining plan. Yeah. Just share one. <laughs> How to optimize and maximize your It was your great, credits. yeah. Cagney's is always good. It's been forever since we've had a lot of the other specialty. We did the Italian restaurant. Oh, that's before. true. Yeah, because we Onda. did. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were on the way there and ate a lot of food. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, the specialty is good, but so is the main dining room food and the buffet. Actually, Everything is right. good. Norwegian is bringing it with the food lately. Yeah, their their food game is still strong. And so. they have options for everyone, which is nice because mm. even if you're a picky eater, they have something that you will like, yeah. which I think is great. So some of the cruise lines, the food's going like this. Norwegian yeah. is at least holding strong. And then they threw <laughs> indulge in there. Boop. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's jump to entertainment, I guess. Of yeah. course, we had Beetlejuice and we had icons on this sailing. Impress your luck. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was nice to see three new show options when they bring out new ships. Sometimes they'll just kind of repeat mm. shows and then add one or two new ones. But this was all new. Um, they were all excellent. You do have to make reservations in the app or uh, oh, yeah. the day of embarkation, whichever one's available. So that's a little frustrating Having just to because plan your you have to, to plan and know exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. But otherwise, I do recommend going to see them. For yeah, because sure. Norwegian on their app, they don't release their daily schedules until about 24 hours yeah. ahead of that schedule. So when you get on the ship, you're going to have like a f one day of activities to look at. So you're blindly planning all these events right. around a non-existent activity schedule. It can be tricky. Yeah, <laughs> it's tricky, but a lot of fun. Yeah, um, yeah entertainment overall. And of course, we had, you know, Sid Norman's always amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, live music. Oh, yeah. Lots of live music. Yeah. David and Stephanie. We mm -hmm. had Francis, who was on Prima. Yeah. Um, Duo Asukar, at least one member of Duo Asukar. It was the same group from Prima. Right. Except one of the partners was new. Yeah. Good stuff. There was a Caribbean band of some sort. I know. I can't remember everybody's name, but all the music was good, and it was nice to have a variety. Um, you know, whatever you wanted to listen to, they typically had that somewhere on the ship. Yeah. That's good. So that's a lot of the goods. Now let's <laughs> let's sneak into the ship and in general and venues on the ship. This is where uh, it starts getting. <laughs> Uh, the venues are small in a lot of places. Sid Norman's, pretty tiny. On purpose, though, we've heard. Yeah. Just, it, they want it to be a more intimate experience, which is why it's so small, because of whoever they're partnering with, that's that's what they're going for. Yeah. So things like the prom was nice because you could still see the cast in a larger venue if you missed it, but it wasn't the rumor show. True. Oh, and Ocean Music Fest, which oh, we missed we because that was that. Speakeasy night. We had to choose either Speakeasy or Ocean Music Fest, and we went Speakeasy because we'd never seen it on a schedule That's before. That's in the theater as well. Yeah. Um, improv, pretty small, you yeah. know, for comedy and karaoke. We never went in there other than mm -mm. for trivia because it's just always busy, but yeah. it's a cool venue. It just needs to be bigger. Yeah. So a lot of the venues just don't appeal to me because they're small and they're gonna be crowded. The atrium not so smart. No nope, atrium out. don't like. There's, there's a band but you have to be like in one of the 20 seats around yeah. there to see it and enjoy it or you're standing. Yeah I mean you could go sit at the whiskey bar and <laughs> listen put your ear over the railing and listen. I, I feel like it's wasted space and they could do a better design with it. Let's Which, talk about yeah. the pool deck. Speaking of wasted space, pool deck, one of my least favorite pool decks on any ship anywhere. Yeah. And that's the whole, same of Prima and Viva. The pool deck is a huge disappointment. The main pool deck, yeah. Right. It's just there's no space. Once again, um, yeah. the pool takes up the majority of the space and there's deck chairs. And they tried to have like a sail away party. There was no room because mm -mm. there's a bar 
right behind the pool and people were like 30 deep getting drinks. There was nowhere to move to no. dance to do anything like that. They have a little stage behind with a screen, but that's where they're dancing. So not really a good venue for any sort of deck party, we'd no. say. So venues, yeah. pretty much the ship is its own weakness, I would say. The, yeah. only, the only reason that I would probably ever look at Prima or Viva again or any of the future class is because it has indulged. And, <laughs> and I good love shows. indulged. It has really good shows. And the quality of the shows. Yeah. And Sid Normans, but you can get Sid Normans on other ships. Mm -hmm. that are better. Um, what other categories would we have to talk about? That may be it, y'all. That might be all the thoughts in our brain. The room. Oh, cabin. Heck Cabins, yeah. Cabins, uh, for me, it is my favorite cabin of any cruise ship I've ever been on. That yeah. particular, um, like, Leonardo class is mm -hmm. what they call this That's class. Right. They're huge, and all of the rooms are big. No matter what category you get, it's bigger than a standard cruise ship room would they be. Are. And the bathrooms Ooh, are massive. And the shower. Lots of storage. It's just, it's a really nice layout for the room. And you mm -hmm. don't feel like, even if you had a family in there, you have plenty of space, which is nice. Yeah, so one of my favorite cabins and bathrooms ever on a yeah. ship. One of my favorite <laughs> food concepts, indulge ever on a ship. It's got Food Republic, which is a plus. But mm -hmm. then you've got pool deck, venue, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a lot of sporty stuff going on, you know, because mm -hmm. when I think of pool deck, it makes me think of the racetrack because my right. understanding is this class of ship was not originally going to have a not. racetrack. And that was, I don't know, that takes a lot of space away from the pool deck, it feels like. Yeah. A lot of sporty stuff that can be fun and the stadium being included is a plus. That's mm -hmm. a big sporty area, but of course you got the pay darts, the pay golf, a lot of, lot of nickels and dimes coming out your pocket. Yeah. The but. slides are all free. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but like the go-karts, go -karts, mini golf, darts. All that's extra. Yeah, and the virtual, what the heck is a Galaxy Pavilion. That's all additional peg. as well. You can yeah. buy passes for it too. But it's Get your nickels and dimes <laughs> ready. But. Yeah. Um, that's all I have in my brain. What else can we talk about? Like the outdoor space besides okay. the pool deck. Um, so they have the infinity pools off the side mm. of the ship on either uh, starboard and port. Those yep. are really nice and they did add to like more outdoor areas. If it's a warm weather cruise, I think it's a great addition. If it's cold mm -hmm. weather cruise, they don't really get used that much, which means more people are inside in those yeah. smaller venues. So. Yeah, and we've done both because we did we, Prima over Thanksgiving to the Caribbean. Then we did Prima to Iceland. So we've experienced <laughs> that class of ship in multiple environments. Yeah, yeah. That might be it, y'all. For now. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we think of anything else, we'll we'll start answering questions, and and if you have anything specific, put it in the comments, and we'll we'll engage down there. But yeah. thanks for hanging out for a crazy eleven day transatlantic. This was a unique one. This it was, was fun. good. It was really yeah. good. Fun yeah. overall. <laughs> Ten out of ten. Would recommend. <laughs> That's it. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on.